Okay, good morning. So we're up to Simon Reish Memhei Sif Gimel. We're talking about business arrangements, partnerships with a non-Jewish person, and how to arrange uh, the Shabbos uh, profits. So we said that you should really make a tanai from the outset, um, as we've discussed. And now we're talking about a situation where you didn't make a tanai. Well, what to do now? So says the Machaba in Sif Gimel. Heicha shelo hisnu betchila. Where they did not make an agreement from the outset, yesh tikkun. There is something you can do to solve the problem. You sort of undo the arrangement. You return, the meicha returns uh, uh, the the dmei the hakarka. Um, he sells it to somebody else. And then you buy it back. And then you make the uh, arrangement at the outset. So in other words, you dissolve the business arrangement, and then you start again. If they sort of join into a partnership to, uh, for, to buy a shop, to, to share the, the, that business, and again, they didn't make it tonight, everyone should buy their own share back. You sort of dissolve the partnership. And again, then you set up the business partnership again with the Tanai at the outset. Again, you moichel each other, you just you know, forego everything. And then you recreate a new business arrangement with a Tanai at the outset. Says the Ramah, and if you want, to rent out your share to the non-Jewish person on Shabbos, to have that Kabbalah's agreement, sorry, that would be okay. Commission is Ba'el Simon regarding tax collection and all these sort of things we spoke about. Excuse me. Khan the Sharim should for any hoodie, and that, that would certainly work over here with with the partnership with this non-Jewish person. Okay, says the Mishnah Berurah, Sif Katan Yudalad. She yachs amay chelohem. Ubechayish mishpat isha isha. She tzarech alto kinyan mechadosh. Lahaknes la amoche. You need a new uh, kinyan from the outset. Velo sagi bazel she yachs la adomim vahashtam achir. It's not good enough just to uh, give back the money and to, to sort of give back the shtam achir, the the actual sale document. You've got to do a proper kinyan. Vayin sham. Simon Kuf Peites for Kuf Samachtalad the Indian Kenyan Hai Ne Yehudi, i.e., what Kenyan do you need to do with a non-Jewish person? How, how does it work? We know that Kenyanim with a Jewish person, there are there are various rules of how you do it. But how does a Kenyan with a guy work? So if you look at 16, very interesting. Well, when's the classic time we do a Kenyan with a non-Jewish person with Mechiras Chometz? Yeah, and he wants to buy all the chomets that the, 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 the Rav is representing all the community, and the non-Jewish person is buying the chomets. What Kenyan do we do with the guy? So says the says the footnote 16, well, the Indian Mechiras chomets the Nachri, Kosovo Lekamon, she yesh des, but poiskim kates ad yesh lasus Kenyan. How do you do a Kenyan with a non-Jewish person? Yesh omrim she yimker be Kesef Dafka. Some say you do a Dafka with Kesef. You do that with other etc. When it comes to chomech of a pesach, you can be makel. Why? Because given she'ain ze ele knas trabonen, chomech of a lava pesach is not awesome in a Torah. It's only a knas that Chazal gave. Whatever it may be. Umasik, the conclusion is, we do both. We do Kesef and Mashiach. etc. So, so we do belt and braces, we just do everything, we do all the various Kinyonim. So the Rav will do him Kesef and then do Kim Mashiach, etc. So, what are we talking about? Just uh, for those who came. Um, we're talking about a business arrangement with a non-Jewish person on Shabbos and if you forgot to make it tonight so what we're saying is you've got to dissolve the partnership and the, or whatever the business arrangement is and you've got to re uh, start the business again 
start with the partnership again with the Tanai at the outset. And then when you do it in the Mishaburah saying over here, you need a Kinyan Chodosh. When you, when you set up the partnership again, you need a proper Kinyan from the outset. You can't just return the money and then just, or, or just return this, the, the partnership agreement. You need a proper Kinyan. What Kinyan do you do? Like we just said, the Mechir Chomets is your precedent, but generally speaking, you try and do as many Kinyanim as possible. Um, okay, Tesvov says the Mishaburah, Ve'im Yirtzeh. Now, th- so this is going on the Mechaba, the Ramayim. The Ramal says, "Im yirtze lahaskel en Yehudi chelkei b'Shabbos lesochik b'kuvat is shari." So the Morgan of Rome is going to have a problem with this. Says the Mishnah Berurah, "You've got in Tezvov." For Im yirtze, I'm Morgan of Rome, but Taz shenisgashu b'zemoi. They very they struggle with this Ramal. The lomi yehi mutzah. Why? Why? Why should this be okay? For ena doim l'simun reish mem dalad. It's not the same as uh, what we said earlier. The shom shari mishum pseid the dafka. That was only okay in the case of a financial loss. For tirz hamogan of Rome. Here, we're more lenient because you're being masker, you're renting out your chilek to the non-Jewish person on Shabbos Bahavlo. There's part of it is sort of swallowed up in the, the non-Shabbos part element. You're, you're renting out your entire, all, the whole week. It's, it's, sorry, not the whole week. You're, you're doing the Shabbos with a bit of weekday i.e. two or three days of the week. So that you no longer got a schar Shabbos problem because it's Havlo, and Havlo means it's all lumped in together with a bit of Chol. You didn't designate or specify Shabbos itself in the arrangement. You know, you, I'll give you X amount. And, and therefore that's okay. And also the Chiddush of the Mo'ez, to come mash malon, to lo'i chashinin pezeh, the Marasa'ayin. There's no concern of Marasa'ayin. She yomru l'tzorach Yisrael lo'ayseh. Ki mishadush, le'en Yehudi chelib. Because everyone knows that, the, that you've got a partnership agreement with a non-Jewish person. And therefore there's no Marasa'ayin concern. Because we know that he's, that, you know, that he's, he's involved. Mashikos of commotion is by a kavnos of commotion. The lechosh le Marasa'ayin. The kolsh ken hocha de leka Marasa'ayin klal. Ki mishadushutus in any Yehudi. Everyone knows that there's a partnership with any Yehudi. Uh, it's, it's much easier. To, it's much. It's much clearer. There's no Marasayan problem. That uh, like the Magen Avraham concludes that this remark must be talking about a situation of Avlaa. You've got to be careful not to actually talk business on Shabbos to the non-Jewish person, as we've said previously. Okay, good. That's Gimel. Dalit. Yochel Yisrael litein en Yehudi Mois lis asik bohem. A Jew can give money to a non-Jewish person for him to go, you know, make profit with that money. Vafal pishen en Yehudi noisiv noisim bohem b'Shabbos. Even if the non-Jewish person is taking that money and doing business with that money on Shabbos, choylek imoy kol aschar b'Shabbos, and they split the um, they split the profits. There's no, there's no responsibility on the Israel to do any of the work. That the, the, the non-Jewish person is a shliach for the Jewish person. I'm just giving him money, and he's going. You know, I'm, I'm lending him a hundred thousand pounds, and you go and uh, go and do some business, and he does whatever he wants to do, and then we split the profits. There's no, there's no responsibility on me that, that, that would um, suggest that the non-Jewish person is my shliach. It's not recognizable that this, that you know he's doing work for me. That when he's going to do business on Shabbos, this is my sort of shliach. Says the Ramah, "V'davka b'chayi gavna she'en Yehudi noisim noisim lechud ibam mois." When the non-Jewish person is going on his own, what you know, trying to make some money with this with this uh, finance. Avdim kol echad oisik v'yoymei v'yisrael tzorach lasik neged masha osik dei nidim Shabbos. But if each one has designated days, and and therefore I'm working, you know, instead in lieu of his Shabbos work, I'm doing a different day. That would be problematic. That would be osa. Okay, okay, let's do the mission bureau. Um, now, what's the problem? Because if if the Jew had responsibility to do some work here, then it would clearly be also. If you didn't make a tonight, it would be also. If you look at number number, which one is it? Number eighteen. He says at the beginning there. Tam noisif lekach she mutzad Yisrael lachlik b'shavim anochri. Another reason why I'm allowed 
to give money to the non-Jewish person. He just goes off and makes some money on Shabbos and you know, you does what he wants and makes some profit and we split the profit. Another reason why it's okay is because it's not, he's not working my, my land or my mill or anything else. I'm just giving him money. Now what is money? Money is nechshev hadovah keschiras kelim. It's as if I've rented out my kelim. The kaimlon she'ein chiv al shvisas kelim. There's no concern of shvisas kelim. I don't have to let my kelim rest on Shabbos. Karka and other things is different. Okay. Shenoima sifkotin yuzayin. Mishum mechse keschah Shabbos leka. Dari hu bahavlo. But the whole thing is bahavlo. Finally, come and simen shin zayin sif kimel sif talad mashik osafti shab mishne bura. Yudches v'chein ein. We're not worried about that. I'm just lending him money and he's doing his own things. So it's not Nika that it's anything to do with me. Because if it was, then it'd be a problem. So long as I don't tell him to do work on Shabbos. He's doing it off his own bat. Um, fine. And then, lastly, we said, uh, yeah, we don't tell him... Um, we don't, I'm not telling him to do anything on Shabbos, because otherwise that would be also. Yeah, unless they make a proper tonight from the outset. Okay, let's just finish off the simon. It's quite short. Hey, mutzali Yisrael litein schor len Yehudi limkar im kotzus lo schar. I'm allowed to give merchandise to a non to a non Jewish person im kotzus lo schar that I'll pay him X amount. But bevach li imalim mechor be Shabbos. As long as I don't specify and say sell this on Shabbos. Tanu shelok li Yisrael mashkim en Yehudi. If a, um, a tanur that shelok uh, Yisrael mashka in men yudi he bought as a mashka in from a non-Jewish person for kibul of men yudi mashka yale schar tanur whatever work happens from the tanur yitain Yisrael but ribis katsutzum meosov mutzalita schar shabbos I can take that the fisher b'shusai in yudi ve'en Yisrael chelik where I've got no chelik in it for gam ein ha Yisrael omel elasik b'shabbos ve'en yudi katorach b'nafshi katorach lekaim tna he's just doing his own stuff. To fulfill his tanai, and therefore there's no concern in that case. Says the Mishnah Bura, Sif Katan Chav, the Ozar Minun, Adait Nafshi Ovid Veinish Kshtucha. He's just working the mill or the oven, whatever on Shabbos, and therefore there's no problem. Or Bilvad, um, as long as I don't tell him to work on Shabbos. Now, the Im Yom Hashuk Ube Shabbos. If the Yom Hashuk is on Shabbos, that's the market day. Then I feel a bestama also because Daviki Loma mecherli be Shabbos. As if I'm saying to him work on Shabbos because of course the market day is on Shabbos and therefore it's as if I'm saying that to him. Achrin the kamim simin shinzayin ein sham aid bezer mutzal ezel haynu afilu shelo b'avlo ve'ein zorach lahas nizkulim. All right, let's just finish off. Im afo inim yehudi matanur shli Yisrael be Shabbos al karchay if the ein yehudi works the oven of Yisrael on Shabbos against his will. That he's taking my oven and he's working and baking for Nosno Pas Bescharatano and he gives me some bread as payment, also Lehonas Mimenu. That's a problem. Says the Mishnah Bura, Ayn Babach, Sof Simon Rashim and Gimel, Shekos of the Ayri de Leofu by Rak Beshabas. That they dafka bake on Shabbos. Valkain, Afshe Balkarcha Ofu, but even they did it against my will, in Mikabalis Akika Nutas Shabbos. If I accept this bread as payment, that is Schar Shabbos, and that's a problem. Avalim Ofu, but Echayam, but if they bake during the week as well, Mutzel Kabul Mehem Schar Shabbos, Gamkain Bavlo. Fa'im Be Halocha, the Zemuta, Fil Lohaya, Fil Balkarcha, even if they didn't do it against my will. The after also is Surah Bemashe Harshalahem, even though I permitted them and I shouldn't have done it. For Chanal Bereshim and Reshim and Gimel, Mikomakum, but the Eved Ain Lass are Schar, you don't have to. Prohibit the schar he gets. So it's a bizarre who rack mishum marasayin. The whole concern here really is just marasayin. A commercial nichtu b'sof simon rishim gimel b'shemish neburah sif katan kechav talad test tazayin. The nosnu lo pas love dafka he gives you bread. The who adinim nosnu lo mois also lo lekabel mehem for uv the high pas. It's just that the case in question that came was with bread. Okay, we'll leave it there.